recently we had over 119 medics deploy up to Detroit, Michigan. And they were in support of FEMA operations in providing vaccines uh, to the men and women of Detroit and the surrounding area. And uh, they've been out there for approximately two months, uh, getting ready to come back today, excited to see their families. But there's nothing like getting to hug them. It feels really good. Um, I've always wanted to um, feel a part of the mission and like we're doing something and what better way to do it than actually doing something in our in our own country to, to help end in this pandemic. And we went when there was a third surge going on in Michigan and for us to be able to get as many shots in people in people as we could um, is a great feeling. We're going to give some of our airmen some R&R time on the back end, some rest and recuperation time as they get back from this deployment because they have been working very long days and a lot of days out of the week to make all these vaccinations possible uh, for the state of Michigan up in Detroit. But let's be honest, when we take over uh, 110, we actually had up to 119 people at one point up in Detroit away from our medical center, it makes it harder to do our mission. But our team here still rallied to the cause and still made sure that we were providing trusted care for our beneficiaries here in the area while supporting two our members going up to Detroit and doing such a great job in giving vaccinations up there. We're certainly happy to have them back though. Uh, this pandemic allowed our medics to showcase their talents just like the medics across the communities. Uh, and so we've had Nurses Appreciation Week, uh, just uh, last week, uh, we've got all kinds of appreciation and love going out to our medical community. I cannot say thank you enough to all of our medical community for what they're doing, rising in this pandemic and serving.